Hi, this is Marissa and Jazzy with the Croica blog. Today we're going to do a podcast, which is kind of unusual since we usually write blogs, but we're testing out uh, podcasting for this topic, which is Paul Dano. Speaking of our blogs, you guys should probably go check them out. We kind of want more views, and I don't know. We kind of write good blogs, not even going to lie. Yeah, like our blogs are like quality content. They are the best, and we need more recommendations. That word, yeah. So today we are talking about Paul Dano. He's a recent celebrity that's been on like the teenagers' radars lately. He blew up this month, actually. I had never heard about this man until this month. Me too. Like, but no. I think he blew up on TikTok, right? That one app. Uh, yeah. TikTok. We're, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I hadn't, I heard about Paul Dano a little bit later into, what was it? Was it March or April when he blew up? Uh, Like early to mid-March. Mm. I did not hear about him until like a few weeks ago, I think, just because... I don't know, I'm not really interested in stuff like that, I guess, and I, I don't know, my friends are, though. I have a couple of friends that have been talking about him nonstop, they really like him, and I can't see it. Can you see it? Like, a little bit in his older pictures, but, like, not that much today, like, when he played the Riddler, it, oh, it wasn't yeah. doing it for me then, yeah. but... Speaking of the Riddler, that is his most recent work, right? He played in the new Batman movie that came out, yes. what, like, last month? Yeah. It came out last month. He played the Riddler. I have not watched it, but he plays that character. Um, but no, yeah. A lot of people like him from his younger days, not so much now. But I think that's just because uh, when you get older, you don't exactly age to... I mean, I don't know. I feel like when we get older, we, we're just... We just kind of like, eh, you know? Some people don't age like Steve Carell. Steve Carell and Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd has looked 30 for 20 years, he, I swear to God. He hasn't changed, like, He hasn't bit. changed at all. If you look at a picture from him, like, I almost said 1800s. If you look at the picture from him, like, early 2000s, he still looks exactly the same. Yeah. The only difference is his hair. That's it. He, I don't, I don't know what he's taking, but I want that. Like, what water is he drinking? Let me get a sip of that. I like, want that. Because, I don't know. He, I saw, like, Ant-Man. He's, like, the Ant-Man guy, Yeah, he's right? Ant-Man. He's my role. Yeah, Ant-Man. Because I look at him today. There was, like, an ad with him. It was, like, a chip ad. And he looked the exact same. And if yeah. you look at, like, earlier, like, yeah, like you said, early 2000s pictures, he looks the exact same. Yeah, that man has not changed in his entire life. Paul Rudd is a special case. He looks the same every year. Steve Carell, he's he different. He got better with age. Yeah, he aged like fine, fine wine. wine. Right. There's two different types of aging yeah, in my, that are good it's either they don't age at all they look exactly the same they're like a vampire or they age like fine wine I like don't know. they either age like like these three celebrities that we're talking about mm -hmm. paul dano steve carell and then paul rudd wait there's two pauls i got mixed up there's me. too many pauls <laughs> yeah but of course people are gonna change with age and Paul Dano did exactly that. He's not going to look like yeah. Little Miss Sunshine Paul Dano for, his like, the rest life. of his life. I'd be extremely concerned if he looked like a 16-year-old emo boy when he was in his 40s or 30s. Yeah, he's, like, 37. Yeah. He is 37, right? Yeah. Yeah. Paul Dano's 37 years old, which, I mean... That's never stopped me, personally, but people aren't <laughs> thirsting over him now. They're thirsting over the younger him. Um, let's talk about his movies a little. Cause yeah. He has so much range. Oh my god, yes. I may not like him for his looks and stuff like that. As shallow as that seems, eh, I don't think he's up. He's not to my taste. I, however, his acting is amazing. He's crazy. Like, he's 
amazing at acting. His range is so good. It's so insane. Like, he plays, like, an emo teen, as we talked about before, in, like, Little Miss Sunshine. And then he plays, like, Crazy Man in Swiss Army Man. Yeah, like, he'll play, like, an emo loser who thinks he's ugly. He and then is. he's in, like, a freaking movie where he doesn't get any. And then he... Get- <laughs> And then he's in another movie where he's, like, an emo, and he yells at people, and he hates his it's family. I hated him in Little Miss Sunshine. Let me interrupt. I hated him in Little Miss Sunshine. He was so annoying. There was this one scene, spoiler alert, there was this one scene in Little Miss Sunshine where he had, um, like, his dream got crushed. You know, he wanted to fly jets. His dream completely crushed. He was colorblind. You can't fly jets when you're colorblind. He broke down. He started yelling at his mom, saying how much, like, oh, I hate this family. I, like, he, why wish I was never born in like, You're not my family. I hated him so much. If I had did that, I would have got hit. I've done my little rant. My mom would smack the ever-living lights out of me. Right. Like, ethnic families, that would never pass. Oh, definitely Especially not. Especially with my Mexican mom. She w- I would oh. not, I would be dead. Like, yeah. that is, no. Yeah, with my Asian mom, I don't think I'd live to see another day, actually. Yeah, like, he he got away with murder with that. Like, that was so, no. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, I was going to say something, but that's for a different topic. What? No, it's a, uh, no. Okay, but on, like, his range, after he plays Little Miss Sunshine, uh, Dwayne Hoover, he's like this church guy and he's he's going crazy and screaming sermons and stuff and it's like it's kind of moving I guess but like if you saw him in Little Miss Sunshine and then you saw him in There Will Be Blood you wouldn't expect that man to be the same person like that those are those movies are two years apart right or one he gets so into character, and he plays such a fantastic job at his role that you can't even tell that they're the same actor. And I think that's how you can tell it's it's a really good actor if they just don't look the same at exactly. all. Exactly. Like, I watched The Girl Next Door uh, because I was uh, following, like, the Paul Dano hype. Yeah, and then I, they like I, Paul Dano. Yeah, I love Paul Dano, but I love <laughs> the movie Swiss Army Man. I watched The Girl Next Door because I was... I thought Paul Dano was cool and stuff, so I look him up. Do you not think he's cool anymore? I do think he's cool, mm. but still. I look up Paul Dano, and I love Swiss, Swiss Army Man, and I go to his movies, and this guy is in Swiss Army Man. There's only, like, two characters in there, like, two main characters, but I, I didn't even know it was him because of his insane acting. Like, he is amazing at acting. I went, okay, so I only recently watched Little Miss Sunshine and Swiss Army Man just because I I wasn't, you know, I didn't watch a lot of movies when I was younger, and I also just don't really watch, I don't follow actors too much. Um, and I went in knowing that this was Paul Day, and I was like, what the heck? It was, I don't know, he's just crazy. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, let's see, let's see. And now we're going to get on to why he's gaining popularity. Yeah. Okay, you want to start? Yeah, I guess. We've already, like, established that he gained popularity because of his looks. I don't know what blew him up. Like, I don't know which one of these teenagers thought he was high and decided to blow him up on TikTok. One of them did it, and now everybody's obsessed with him. That's there, not necessarily a bad thing, but... There was an audio from the girl next door oh, when he it? was at the adult film convention oh. and he was, like, talking to one of the adult actors and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's, like, a it's like a thirst trap audio now, I think. I'm not really sure, but that's, like, the first where I heard him and I've seen, like, edits on Twitter of him in that movie. Personally, he's not doing it for me in that movie but like yeah and I also think people like him because he's like nerdy and they think they can fix him oh yeah the popular like, I can fix him trope yeah like I love like that. the incel I can fix him with like I can fix this a guy. certain act of um intimacy so mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but people think he's like this incel who 
is like a film nerd and blah 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 blah. This man is thirty seven yeah. with a child and a wife. Like yeah. he has like a family. Like he's not just some incel on the internet you can fix. He's a thirty he's a grown man, you know? He's also in a loving marriage, so I don't Yeah, know. they've been married for like twelve years. Yeah. They got married in two thousand. Fourteen years. I yeah, fourteen years. Fifteen years maybe. Whoa. Um, yeah, about 15, 14. Yeah, like, that's a long time. Of course, if you're in a long, t- this long marriage for 15 years, that's like... a whole high schooler right there. Yeah, like, my sister, my sister was born in 2007. That's where I calculated uh, how, oh, how their marriage, that. like, how old it was, because, mm. yeah. Speaking of, like, all that stuff... Let's talk about, let's actually find out why people think he's hot or why people don't think he's hot. We actually pushed out a survey earlier last week, I think. Yeah. Earlier like, last week, we pushed out a survey to some of the classes here at DHS to see, like, what other people would say. So, let me pull up the survey. Um, we're going to go to this one. So, we asked, do you find Paul Dano attractive? 71% said no, and 28% said yes. So, <laughs> not looking good for him there. It's not what I expected, personally. You I know? thought it was going to be, like, 50-50 or even Yeah, more. like, that's what I thought. I personally don't like him, but I know a lot of people do, do so I was like, oh, really? Me, for example. I'm kidding. But, like... Most of these people know who he is. Yeah, most of them know. But most of them said he wasn't don't attractive. Like they don't like they don't find him attractive. Somebody said he's just so boring. And yeah, there was this one answer in particular that we both liked. And do you want to read it? Um, sure. So we asked we on the server we asked, "What what about Paul Dano makes him attractive?" One person said, uh, Paul Dano is attractive in a different way that other celebrities are perceived. Paul is no Brad Pitt. Fuck. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> He's no Brad Pitt, nor Christian Bale, no. Paul Rudd looks like a realistic person. Paul looks like Paul looks like you could actually see him walking through a Target or a subway. Another factor is that he has a funny personality and other good qualities that make him extremely attractive. In conclusion, he seems like a guy you could lay down with in a park and read a long book with. So basically what they're saying is he just looks obtainable. Yeah, like he's, he's like, right there. Like He looks attainable. He looks like any normal guy. Right. Yeah, sure, you have a crush on Brad Pitt or Christian Bale. You have a crush on them. I but you know, Christian like, Bale. deep down, mm, I probably can't, you know. However, Paul Dano, he's just enough to the point where you're like, yes, I could probably, I can see this guy walking down and, like, at the park where like, I'm, like... I could see him, like, at a Walmart, and I could go and say hi to this guy and not feel, right. like, intimidated, you know? He just looks normal. He just... And his personality. It's not, like, this snooty, uh, freaking. I hate everybody. Uh-huh. It's, like, this, like, kind of warm-ish, like, nerdy, goofy kind of personality. He's just himself. Yeah. And I think that's what people really like. Yeah, like... He's, like, a film nerd. He is really awkward and all that stuff. And it's just, like... He just has realistic characteristics. He, yeah, that's what He's I was trying realistic. to get out. He's just a normal guy who just so happens to be an actor. Right. Like, a, like a world-famous actor in the new Batman movie and, like, <laughs> in a bunch of well-known films and... And movies with Jake Gyllenhaal and all that, like. <laughs> Although we did ask this question, not a lot of people did say that he was attractive. A lot of people, the majority of these people said, I don't know, he's not, or just nothing at all. Yeah. Which is really mean. But let's talk about that. If we dis, if you look, if, if you dislike Paul Dano, or don't find him attractive, explain why. We asked that question. And let's get into that. Somebody just said he's an odd fellow. <laughs> he's an he's an odd fellow for sure. Although he can he can sing, he can sing. Yeah, he's in a he, band. He's in a band. I didn't know he. Could I don't sing know at he, all. I don't know if he sings, but he's in a band. I didn't know he was in a band. Yeah, it's like 
called oh. Mook or something. I haven't listened to them, but... We should probably listen to a couple of songs. He's an odd fellow for sure. Although he can sing Ave Maria quite well, like in the popular smash hit 2022 movie, The Batman, oh, no. I wish to sing like him one day. He's got drip too. I wish to acquire such taste I can't for tell if fashion. Too. I don't think he has fashion. He's... No. No. He's fine. Like, he's fine fashion. He's not like... He's not like that one guy from Seventeen. He's not like Sugi from Red Velvet. He's not like this fashion icon. No, but like he's, he's not. He's very just fine. He's just he dresses fine. He dresses like a normal guy. Yeah. Here's okay. Here's one I really agree with. Massive hype. He has okay. Yeah, that's I think he's too overly much. hyped. Definitely. Like for the way he looks, I think it's just he's overly hyped. He's not bad. He's he's not. I wouldn't call him unattractive. I wouldn't call him attractive either, in my opinion. I think he just looks okay looking. And I don't know. I feel like the hype that he gets is just kind of, you know? Yeah. I'm not calling him bad in any way. Like, this is just for fun. Uh, you know? This yeah. is just for fun. But, like, the massive hype. I'm not going to lie. I found him attractive in, like, his older days. But nowadays, like, people still like him. Like, he's just getting this massive hype. Like... Bring some of the hype to somebody who deserves it, you know? Right. Like, if you're gonna hype Paul Dano up, hype is acting. His hype acting. is acting. Yeah, yeah, hype is acting. Acknowledge that he's an amazing actor. Like, if you think it's not, go for it. But, like, his acting. Just avert it to some of his acting. Right, his I feel like it music. should be recognized. Yeah, like some of his acting, his music skills, his, um, yeah, I don't like know what other skills he has. Either. Like, There's isn't he like else. a director too? Oh, is he? I don't know. Maybe he might uh, be. I don't yeah. Think he is. No. He's he, won a lot of awards. He does Broadway, I think. <gasps> yeah. Does he? I love Broadway. But he just deserves so much other hype for what else yeah. he does. He needs to be acknowledged in other areas. Let's go and cut that out. Here's another thing. Another person had said he's a good actor, but his looks are so mad. So that's basically what we're talking about. Yeah, he's a good actor. Why not hype his acting up? Why are we just hyping his looks up? You know? Some people are just like that. Like, some people who like him, they act like K-pop stands, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, there's some of them who will use, like, other groups that they don't even like they don't know any of their songs and they'll use them as like their profile pictures Mm -hmm. yeah like i always found that weird i think that's what people are doing nowadays with like paul dano i think it's like it's like you know a fad or something like that it's like oh this person likes it let me check it out oh i uh, i guess i like it we're being conditioned to like him i guess since everyone else likes him i think that's how it was for me Cause like I he's fine in some pictures mm-hmm. and just like I have to lie to myself and say like most he's, of his pictures he's, he's, are okay. He's cute. Like yeah. Okay, that's how it is with me and Harry Styles. He is not unattractive by any means. I just he's not unattractive. I find him extremely attractive, but I realize that I don't. I don't know. Like he's not photogenic. No, no, he's extremely photogenic. It's just for me and Harry Styles, yeah, he's attractive. I I don't know. I think he's just not my taste. Yeah. I don't know. I admire his fashion since I admire everything about him. I just don't think, I don't know if I'm attracted to him, but that might be a different story. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> we did have the people on the survey break rate him based on his looks and we'll pull up those pictures too but the most like common (laughs) the most uh voted answer was um one one uh yeah all the photos he got there were some people that were being generous gave him like a four three but majority rude and it was one it was either like one or four three or and like surprisingly 10 was like the lowest one. Right. Like, maybe, like, three or four people voted him a 10. Which, I'm not gonna lie, he's not a 10. He's, he's more a of, 10. like, a 
seven or six to me, to be honest. Which was a little bit strange. I think I was being very generous with the photos I picked. I did have a student say that I wasn't and that um, I should have picked more. I was like, mm, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I was being generous. I picked one. Like, I think I used one from Ruby Sparks. Yeah, that was, like, a good photo. That was photo. his best photo. Yeah. I can even admit that. I don't find him attractive, but Ruby Sparks, that one photo was pretty good. We yeah. all had that photo, and he that was his. Um, I picked that one. I had picked one from his younger days, and I picked one from when he was, you know, when he, his current age, like, 37. I picked one when he was 37. Yeah. They like, all got the same rating for the most part, which I found that pretty surprising. I was like, oh, really? Like, even the Ruby Sparks picture. Right. The he Ruby was Sparks so handsome in that picture. Right. I don't know how they, I don't, I don't know. I, I like the Ruby Sparks one. He just looks one. like a nice fellow mm-hmm. there. Like, mm. but, well. Yeah. So at the end of the day, do you find him attractive? Uh, not really. Mm. Not really. You used to really like him. Like in his older days. Yeah, I remember we... I just think I stopped lying to myself, you know? I applaud you. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. I never got infected by this virus. Oh my god, <laughs> this reminds me of Bieber fever. Oh my god, no. <laughs> With Justin Bieber. I was infected though. There, I also had boy band fever. Me Uh-oh. too. Me too. Um, but I never had a ball, a pa- Paul Dana one. I never liked him, so I was never infected by that disease. You guys do whatever you want, but I was never infected personally. Lucky you. I don't know. I just I don't know. There was something about him that I just couldn't get interested in. Mm mm. Like I think if you like took his personality and his acting and you placed it on like Christian Bale I don't know like the outward appearance like somebody who's like really conventionally attractive Timothy oh my Chalamet. god yeah I love Timothy Chalamet if you if you like took Paul Dano's personality wise acting wise and you put them on like Timothy Chalamet oh my gosh people would go insane for this Probably. guy I feel like Paul Dano, here's the thing about him. He has all, like, attractive features. It's just it doesn't really work together, I feel like. They're all, like, different sizes. And his face is kind of asymmetrical. Listen, don't hate on asymmetrical faces. I have an asymmetrical face. As do I. But, like, his is, like... I'm not saying this, like, negatively. His face is just asymmetrical. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. And we just pulled up a picture of him. It was, like, a flat, like... I don't know. Like, I feel like this could definitely work, but just not together. Like, his nose, it's, like, a little up there. It's just a little up there. And his lips are kind of, like, thin, you know? And he could use some work on his eyebrows. Oh, his Donald Trump lips. That's what he has. Yeah, Donald that's what Trump has those lips. I 